Welcome to Phil Talks Tech. Today I'll be changing the main board in my Ender 3 version 2. Changing from a 4.2.2 motherboard to a 4.2.7 because I've had some big issues with layer shifting on large prints. The display comes off really easy, just clips on and there's one plug for the, for the display itself and there's just a couple of screws in in here I'll have to remove to take this off just so I can lay it on the side. Now that that's removed I can lay the printer over and get a look at the underside. One of the things we're going to need to do here is remove the cover. This is the cover for the main board. Just going to remove these screws. And there's a cup on the top here that will have to come off as well. And there's one at the back of the bed. These are a great idea, a little magnetic mat for keeping your screws on stops them flinging across the room. Just remove this cover and voila, our main board is in here. Before I go and take all the wires off the main board, I'm going to take a bit of a photo just so it helps me for future reference if I need to know where everything went. Just cut some of these ties and move them out of the move the stuff out of the way. Make sure you don't cut any wires. Now we're going to need to unplug everything. Just pop these plugs off. Yeah, there's, out of all the cables here, we have two that aren't labelled. That's our temperature sensors for the head hot end and for the temperature for the bed. They're not marked, but the, the white is the um, that hot end and the black is the bed. So the other are the um, limit switches for the three axes and they're all labelled so that makes them much easier. The other one here is our fan for our hot end. All we have left is the screw cap, screw in wires now and they're conveniently labelled on the bottom of the board so I shouldn't be able to go wrong there. I'll start with the main power, the positive and negative, the 24 volts. Red being a positive, black being a negative. Now we have our hot end, our bed, and the last is just the fan, a fan for the hot end. You'll notice is that I moved the motherboard cooling fan to the hot end fan to come on all the time before because it was um, getting warm. And there we have it, the old board's out, time to put the new one in. Okay, now we'll refit the wires to the new motherboard, making note of the labels. Make the right one go in the right spot, Z axis. And then our extruder. And then we've got our limit switches. So that's our X. And our Y. On the our Z. Put our temperature sensors. And bed temperature. Yeah, that makes sense. And this is the hot end temperature. So we have to put our fan back in plug all these back in where they came from and then we'll put our screw in wires. Start with our power, red to positive, black to negative. Okay, and we'll move on to the others. Our fans. And we have our bed. This is a handy little gadget I love. Uh, it's a wow stick, little um, electric screwdriver. Comes with so many different bits and charging cable, um, little light in the end. Really handy for doing small screws up. Not ideal for big screws, but it's not designed for that. It's great when you're doing small components, small parts. It really speeds the job up. It comes with a full range of bits. Um, just about everything you can think of. Haven't found one I haven't haven't had yet. I'm always looking for new gadgets. Do you have a favourite gadget you'd like to share? Put a note in the comments. Now we'll just refit the main board. Change our bits first. Now 
we go, done. Let's get some cable ties and make it nice and neat back in here so that I'm happy. I don't really like the um, cables running under this sharp edge here. I had a go at filing it back, but I'll put a bit of extra sleeving over there to protect it anyway. While I'm changing the mainboard, I'm also going to change the cover and fan. The original cover only has a 40mm fan. I've put an 80mm fan in there. Much improved airflow. Placing the original Creality one with this 3D printed one which will allow me to fit an 80mm fan rather than the 40mm. Uh, this is a 12 volt fan I'll be using, so I'm going to install this buck converter. There'll be links in the description for file for the cover and uh, links for buck controllers. Okay, we'll start with installing the fan and the buck controller in the mainboard cover. Hit the buck converter. And that should uh, be ready to install. Uh, these additional wires I've got running here, I'm going to run up to um, some LEDs I want to print, put, place on the printer so I can see better on the camera. Okay, now I'm just going to fit the new cover and fan. Start to put this over. I'll just change my bit to a longer one to reach through the holes. Very handy screwdriver, has its little to torch in the end, so you can see down the hole. I just need to do my wiring to the power supply, and we'll be good to go. While we've got the printer upside down, you'll note this um, is not the original colour. This is the one Creality um, puts on the printer from you. But unfortunately, it blocks these air intake holes here. So, very good idea to print this. I'll put a link in the description to that, that file. It's just a printed file, it just covers the cable ends. Now we're done, almost there. Just got a few things to put back on it and upgrade the firmware. We'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw today, why not subscribe and hit the like button and ring that bell. If you have any questions, please just put them in the comments. Thank you. I'm Phil, and this is Phil Talks Tech.